Okay, so uh, we're continuing the paint tutorial here. Um, as I said, once again, I, I'm, I'm using uh, Duplicolor paints. Um, and the two that I use are either the, um, the True Door Red. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, the True Door Red or the uh, Dark Cherry Metallic. Um, so they're pretty close in color. Um, you can probably get away with two different pieces. It looks like this is a darker color red uh, for my Mark 7. Uh, I'm using this one here uh, for just any other Iron Man I usually use this. So, um, but anyways, onto the paints here. So with the dupe color, uh, I've got one helmet here. I've got sanded down, uh, wet sanded and whatnot. Uh, there's still some spots I need to fix in here and uh, some other things. Um, shoot a couple more layers in the back. Um, but what I want to kind of want to go over was basically this is a, an automotive lacquer, um, just straight lacquer. You, you, um, usually when you're shooting paints, you kind of want to use the same types of paints. And I was out the other day looking for a clear, and I couldn't find one that was adequate enough or duplicolor uh, clear. So I ended up buying the Rust Oleum uh, um, acrylic lacquer, which I thought it should work. It's, it's lacquer, right? Well, Here's the problem. Uh, after wet sanding this thing, I've noticed on this one here, I wet sanded it and then went ahead and started painting and I started getting some uh, cracking in the paint, you can see right there. Um, and then in the back it started started crazing or going uh, with some of the lines. Now that could be from dirty paint. Uh, I did wipe it down uh, and I usually try and wipe it down with a little bit of damp cloth and just maybe a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Um, and then let it dry so before I do anything with it and uh, it seems like the two paints didn't didn't uh, want to take so as I said you got the, the crazing there and then it looks like spider webbing here so um, and that's just basically the paint pulling or separating um, which isn't good so I'm gonna hold off spring on spring this helmet here until I get the actually the proper uh, proper clear coat um, the other thing I kind of want to show you, and, and I kind of knew this was going to happen just because the faceplate has been uh, used for Halloween and handled and whatnot. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, that would be called orange peel. Uh, it's either due to because of temperature or because of uh, unclean paint surface. Um, what happens is the paint will separate at any point that there's like a, a dirt or uh, oil or whatever that's on on the uh, the surface of the paint, so you kind of really have to prep your paint paints before you paint um, to make sure that you get a good clean uh, finish and uh, a good appearance on it. So as you can see, there's some orange peel in there or fish eye um, right up in here. So, but anyways, if you guys have any more questions about paints, let me know. Um, I'm trying to answer them to the best of my knowledge. You can leave your comments or questions uh, down below in the comment section down there. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, and do your thing, guys. Thanks.